Long-Term Test Review, Mitsubishi L200. Second Report, Giant Mitsubishi L200 Pickup Means Big Practicality, Big Style, and Big Bills. Verdict. 5 Star. I'll be keeping an eye on economy over the next few weeks, but even a few issues over the past month haven't dented my enthusiasm for this superbly practical and relatively refined pickup. Balancing workhorse ability and car-like comforts, it's easy to see why the Mitsubishi L200 is a class leader. Mileage, 2450. Economy, 25.9 mpg. As a large lump of metal and further debris appeared from under the car in front during a recent journey, I knew it wasn't going to end well. There was a hefty clang as the metal bounced off the underside of the Mitsubishi L200S chassis, and, sure enough, it was immediately followed by a strong vibration from the rear. I pulled over in the nearest lay-by to inspect the damage. The nearside rear puncture was no surprise, but the size of the hole was. There would be no repairing this tire, due to the massive gash in the sidewall. This meant a replacement for the Mitsubishi needed to be sourced, and as Auto Express's resident tire tester, I thought I'd have no problem finding a Dunlop Grand Trek AT20. After a tougher search than I predicted, my local dealer, Duxford Motor Group near Cambridge, found one ready to fit the next day from a Mitsubishi wholesaler. But that wasn't to be the final blow from the blowout. On closer inspection, the wheel rim was also damaged and needed replacing. Even with a discount, the bill came to a hefty £807.24, with the wheel costing just over £600. As Mitsubishi has made the L200 more like an SUV than ever, it seems you also get SUV-sized bills. The trip to Duxford was the second I've made over the past few weeks, as the hard tops fixings needed retightening after just 1,000 miles. The protective strip along the Mitsubishi's tailgate top was also trimmed and refitted as it had started to lift. Puncture aside, my time with the L200 has been mostly without drama and the big truck has grown on me as the miles have passed. It does so much so well, not least towing a trailer loaded with my various rally and track cars, this barely seems to trouble the torquey engine or the smooth auto transmission. Whether fully loaded or not, the ride is also acceptable, although the ladder frame construction means it does shudder over bigger potholes. I've got used to finding suitable spaces in car parks for the 5.29 meter long body, while maneuvers are made easier by the large mirrors and reversing camera. Slow steering means you have to twirl the wheel a lot, but the L200 has quite a tight turning circle given its size, which you appreciate on such a big four-wheel drive vehicle. I do wish I'd specified the 225 pounds front parking sensors, though, because the long bonnet is tricky to judge. Plus, a 200 pounds locking tailgate would give peace of mind when leaving tools and tires in the pickup bed. However, the biggest downside I've experienced so far has to be fuel economy. A fair bit of towing might account for the mid-20s MPG figure, but even on long journeys and unladen, we rarely see much above an indicated 3.0 MPG. Mitsubishi L200, First Report We put award-winning Mitsubishi L200 pickup through its paces as it joins fleet. Mileage, 355 Economy, 24.8 mpg. The rise of the pickup may be helped by the tax breaks for company car users, but when we collected the keys for the latest addition to our fleet, the last thing on our mind was the bottom line. The Mitsubishi L200 is big, and its sheer size is exaggerated by the optional GST Plus hardtop, 1,860 pounds fitted. Sales executive Paul Dre at Mitsubishi dealer Duxford Motor Group, near Cambridge, is a pickup fan as are most of his colleagues and was quick to show us its virtues as we took delivery. None of the things Paul talked us through was news to us, of course, as the Mitsubishi has been crowned Auto Express's best pickup for two years in a row. But it was good to hear that this top-spec barbarian model has trailer stability assist, 
which uses the ESC to prevent snaking, as towing will be a key part of its time on our fleet. The rear view camera is a big help, too, it means you can easily line up the L200S tow ball and is a big help when you need to hitch up solo. The impression of size diminishes once you climb up into the driver's seat. Plus, the Mitsubishi is loaded with features you'd expect to see on a large SUV. DAB, Bluetooth, and SAT NAV are all standard, while our car also comes with heated electric seats. The comparison with large subs goes further, thanks to that GST Plus hardtop. This not only tested the L200S versatility, but still took advantage of the pickup's tax breaks, because all commercial vehicles attract a flat benefit in kind figure of 3,170 pounds. As the hardtop covered load bay is separate to the passenger cab, you don't feel as bad about cramming it with gear, and I'm happy to report that the L200 can swallow loads of kit for testing to help in my role as Auto Express Products Editor. Yet equally, at weekends, it can store spare wheels when I'm heading to an event with my rally car. On the move, I've been impressed with the ride. I feared it might be a bit harsh due to the suspension setup required for the Mitsubishi to achieve its tax-focused 1,000 kg plus payload. Yes, potholes can deliver a shudder, but generally, the truck soaks up bumps well and there's none of the constant choppy bouncing we've felt in some rivals. Maintaining the SUV similarities, we've also gone for the auto box. It's only a 5-speed, but it's smooth and can be shifted manually with the steering paddles, which helps when towing. In practice, it rarely gets caught out and works well with the relatively refined 178BHP 2.4-liter turbo diesel. My initial impressions of the L200 are positive, as you'd expect from an award winner. But I still have a few niggles. The optional load bed liner is very slippery, so shopping ends up against the bulkhead. Retrieving it involves sitting on the tailgate and lying full length to grab your bags. The biggest irritation, though, is more tech-related. The lane departure warning is overly sensitive and gives frequent alerts, particularly when driving along winding country roads. So firing up the truck has become a two-step process hit the starter, then reach down to turn off the lane departure warning switch. Still, these are just minor gripes on what's already shaping up to be one of the most popular models on our fleet. Key Specs Model, Mitsubishi L200 Barbarian Double Cab Automatic On fleet since, November 2016 Price new, £30,839 Engine slash torque, 2.4 liter 4 CYL turbo diesel 178 bhp co2 slash tax 196 g slash km slash pound 270 options tow bar with 13 pin electrics 445 pounds fitted gst plus hardtop 1860 pounds fitted under rail bed liner 240 pounds fitted rear parking sensors 250 pounds fitted insurance asterisk group 13 slash quote 805 pounds mileage 2450 economy 25.9 mpg any problems none so far